Many people have heard of the Cummings powered Dodge Ram. Today, an impressive 75% of the Dodge Ram 2500 and 3500 buyers choose a Cummings engine. This powerful engine can handle a 29,000 pound towing effortlessly. It was 30 years ago that Dodge first fitted its Ram trucks with a Cummings heavy duty diesel engine. And that's when Dodge and Cummings started a diesel revolution. Let's rewind a bit and see how Ram trucks came to be, how they evolved into what we see today and what Ram you should buy. Did you know Dodge first started out making bicycles? It was started by two brothers in Canada. In 1896, Horace Dodge received patent number 567,851 for a dirt repellent bicycle bearing. Today, all bicycle bearings are made with this concept. However, despite success, four years later, the brothers decided it was time for a change. In 1900, they closed their bicycle shop and set up a work shop for the production of mechanical parts for stoves. But the Dodge brothers were fired for bigger things. They won to fulfill their dream and build their own automobile. Around this time, they got busy manufacturing auto parts, including parts for the Ford Model T's axle, transmission, and various other engine parts. Pretty much everything except for the body of the car. The Dodge brothers had a hand in the production of the first mass-produced American car. By 1914, rumors began to circulate about the Dodge brothers possibly manufacturing a car of their own. By that time, Dodge already had an excellent reputation in the auto world, so it came as no surprise that even before the first details of the Dodge car were made public, more than 22,000 aspiring and influential businessmen applied to open Dodge dealerships. By 1916, Dodge had become one of the most successful companies in North America. In just two years, it would produce 70,000 all-steel touring car bodies, and in 1917, the company began manufacturing trucks. By the way, did you know that in 1962, the Dodge logo consisted of three interlocking triangles? The geometric shape was called a Fratzog. They used that logo for 20 years. Today, we recognize the Ram head logo. The Ram symbol first appeared on all Dodge pickups in 1933. The company liked this logo because the Ram symbolized strength, reliability, and durability. The Ram hood ornament was used until the mid 1950s, even though there wasn't an official Dodge Ram truck at the time. It wouldn't be until 1981 that Dodge pickup trucks actually carried the name Ram for the first time. And that kicked off the first generation of the Ram trucks, which came with the revised iconic Ram hood ornament. The first generation Ram was marked by three pickup versions. The 150, which carried a half ton, the 250, which carried three quarters of a ton, and the 350 model, which called a full ton. A few years later, Dodge fitted its trucks with a 5.2 liter V8 engine, which included electronic fuel injection for the first time. By the tail end of the first generation, a Cummings B-Series diesel engine was added to the 250 and 350 models. Because of direct injection and turbocharging, the Dodge Ram gained a reputation of being rough and tough. In 1994, Dodge introduced the all-new second-generation Ram. Interesting note about the second generation. Dodge had originally planned on launching it back in 1991, but company executives at the time felt that the design of the pickup was too simple. So the designers went back to the drawing board and returned with a pickup design no one else was off. The second-generation Ram was the largest full-size pickup with a standard cab on the market. The truck's power was increased and came with a turbocharged V6 and V8 engines and a 5.9-liter Cummings inline six turbo diesel. A few pickups were even equipped with a V10 that could produce 300 horsepower and 450 pound feet of torque. This allowed Dodge to outflank Ford, Chevy, and GMC trucks. In fact, they won Truck of the Year award in 1994, which had an immediate impact on sales. Sales figures more than doubled, jumping from 95,000 to 232,000 in 1994. In 1996 alone, 411,000 trucks were sold. The changes also affected the labeling. Now the 150 half a ton model became known as the 1500, the 250 was now the 2500, and the same way for the 350 became the 3500. It was a simple marketing ploy, one which undoubtedly influenced consumer perception. With increased payload specs, the pickups were now well positioned as a more durable and sturdy offering, which impacted sales growth. But really, the Ram's popularity is mostly due to it being just a practical truck. Dodge introduced several more updates. These included the quad cab to make loading 
and unloading easier. It also added rounded mirrors, dual airbags, a digital odometer, and clear lens four beam headlights. On the safety front, it was the first pickup with standard driver's side airbag and four wheel ABS. For the interior, designers for the first time offered Ram owners a stylish faux wood trim, a CD slash cassette player, and leather seat. In 2002, the third generation of Ram made its debut, and initially it was received very well. This generation saw improved handling characteristics and advanced technology. The fuel efficiency of the V6 and V8 Rams had also been improved with the new 5-speed automatic transmission. The trucks also received keyless remote starting and a new option for stability control. Between 2002 and 2003, sales continued to grow, with 450,000 Ram pickups being sold. That was until the recession made it difficult, if not impossible for most Americans to buy an expensive truck. In fact, sales then began to drop off and decline. The fourth generation Ram became its own independent brand. That's because in 2010, it was announced that Dodge and Ram would part ways. But still, buyers who were looking for power, safety, and durability found that they were looking in the Ram truck. In 2013 and 14, the Ram had once again taken the lead in this category and was voted car of the year by Motor Trend. So we can now see how Ram trucks went from being the good old American workouts to being a family car, one that was both durable and reliable with a touch of sophistication. The fifth generation Ram kicked off with the 2019 Ram 1500 pickup. It was presented in seven trim levels compared to the previous 11, but offered new features. It could now carry up to 2,300 pounds, tow 12,750 pounds, with a total weight reduction of 225 pounds over the previous generation. Ram offered an option for the 1500 E. Torque. The e-torque coupled the belt-driven alternator and battery pack to provide momentary torque and energy regeneration up to 130 foot-pounds of increased torque output for the 5.7 liter Hemi engine. Ram also introduced a new Uconnect platform with a 12-inch touchscreen display, the largest in its class at the time. Let's say you're deciding between 2021 Ram 1500 versus the 2500. First off, they're both outstanding full-size pickups. Both the 2021 Ram 1500 and Ram 2500 are capable of handling heavy workloads, but the Ram 2500 has been specifically designed for more towing and tough operating conditions. We can see that when we look under the hood. The 2021 Ram 1500 truck is powered by a 3.6 liter V6 engine, puts out 305 horsepower and 269 pound-feet of torque versus the four 410 horsepower and 429 pound-feet of torque of the Ram 2500 with its 6.4 liter V8 Hemi engine. The Ram 2500 is also available with the 6.7 liter Cummings inline six turbocharged diesel with 370 horsepower and 850 pound-feet of torque. Clearly the larger Ram 2500 is rated for pure power and performance, while the 1500's engine is more suitable for being a heavy duty pickup truck and a family car at the same time. When looking at towing ability, the 2021 Ram 1500 has a maximum towing capacity of 12,750 pounds and a maximum Maximum payload of 2,320 pounds. The 2,500, on the other hand, can carry up to 4,010 pounds and pull up to 19,780 pounds. All this is thanks to an eight-speed automatic transmission and rear-wheel drive. So when it comes to harsh environments, the power of the Ram 2500 is exactly what you need. But the Ram 1500, it's a truck that can offer a better and smoother ride because of the air springs. It has air suspension on all four wheels, which anyone could surely appreciate on the road, whether you're loaded or not. And the option system has five levels of height to facilitate entry and exit off-road. Obviously, the one that suits your lifestyle is better. If you're looking at neck-to-neck -neck between the 2021 Ram 1500 Ram 2500, here's something worth considering. As far as the 1500 is concerned, its advantage over the 2500 includes options like the Ram TRX with Falcat engine, mild hybrid engine technology and fuel economy, and pneumatic suspension at four corners. The 2500, on the other hand, has advantages like its V8 Hemi, which comes standard or the Cummings turbo diesel option. Also, it has a larger payload and towing capacity, and its pricing is reasonable price for a truck that size. Let's look at the sticker price of the two trucks. I'd say there are several points worth paying attention to. The Ram 1500 is more affordable and less expensive of the two. However, they both carry the same basic warranty of three years and 36,000 miles. 
Now, if your need isn't a truck for the family, but solely for work, let's compare the bigger models against each other. The Ram 2500 versus the Ram 3500. The 2500 pickup comes with a 6.4 liter Hemi V8 standard. The 3500 is fitted with a 6.7 liter inline Cummings turbo diesel, although the Ram 3500 seems to have less power than the Ram 2500. That's 370 horsepower for the Cummings versus 410 horsepower for the Hemi V8 gasoline engine. It is with the torque where the two diverge a lot. The 2500 has 429 pound-feet of torque, while the Ram 3500 delivers 850 pound-feet of torque. It's clear that the towing capacity of the Ram 2500 and 3500 are significantly different. The 3500 can easily provide 34,480 pounds of tow compared to 19,780 pounds for the 2500. The same is true for each in terms of lifting capacity. The Ram 3500 has a maximum payload of 7,050 pounds, while the 2500 offers no more than 4,000 pounds. So as you can see, the towing capacity seems to be the biggest difference when comparing the Ram 2500 and 3500. So if you're looking for a comfortable but heavy duty truck, you probably should give the Ram 2500 a look. But if your priority is hauling and towing heavy loads, then it might be worth investing the extra money for a Ram 3500. As far as cost, the Ram 2500 starts a bit under 37,000, while the Ram 3500 starts a bit over 38,000. But now you tell me, which do you like the most? The Ram 1500, 2500, or 3500. Please comment below and share your experience. If you enjoyed the video, like it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your support.